Mike and I met working together, and once we got married, we decided to start our own architectural firm. And as we were coming down the road and just came out of this cornfield, and right there on axis was the barn. I was like, oh my gosh, that's the coolest barn right. I've ever seen. And as we got up to it, there was a little sign on it that said for sale. We wandered through the office and she said, oh, by the way, we own a barn now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think with the barn conversion, there's a couple things that go on. One is, so we do a fair bit of adaptive reuse and in, in our practice, so we really take into account the existing structure, but you also don't want it, you want to make it new, you want to make it so this, this blending of the modern mm -hmm. and, 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 the, and the existing. So, you know, we came in, it's sort of a barn industrial, you know, for lack of a better word. You've got this great view off the back. You've got all this, this the, the, the pool and the land. Well, there's, you want to be able to walk through and just see all of that, you know, and that's why we have all these windows off the back and, and that's where the sun sets and everything comes through. Um, so that was yeah. a big part of it. Selecting a builder was a big consideration and it was, it was tough. We, we mindfully chose someone that we, we knew and that we had worked with before. With Scott, we had seen what he had built before. It was a good decision because a lot of this was not off the shelf. A lot of it we had to figure out. It was important for the pools uh, when making the window decision to incorporate as much light as possible for the interior um, while keeping the exterior aesthetic what they wanted. Uh, Gelbin was able to offer the different size grills and able to customize those to allow more or less light in the house. The back is very symmetrical. We have two doors to the playroom on one side, two 16-foot doors to the garage. And um, talking with Scott, he was like, I think I can get Jelblin to match them. And so we took the um, shop drawings of the garage doors, Scott gave them to Jelblin, and it's incredible. We wanted to be able to make sure that the mullion pattern, uh, the SDL, was going to be matching to their specific designs and make sure that they had the color options would eventually create the aesthetic of the exterior. If you're back at the back end of the yard and looking at the house, you cannot tell that one side is actually sliding glass doors and one side's garage doors. So it was awesome. With 96 windows in this house, it's it's 40% of the exterior facade. So it's a, it's a hugely important decision to make. As a custom home builder, we deliver 10 to 15 projects a year. I prefer working with Jeldwin windows and doors on my projects. The, during the build, we knew it was going to be a long build cycle that we wouldn't have any issues with water or any rot during construction or for the lifetime of the windows. There was eight by eight barn door openings where they brought the hay in and out, both on this level and the upper level. So on this level, we were able to get custom French doors with side lights that really are, are really quite beautiful. There were several occasions we've had someone ask us about windows they're doing, and we're like, well, come on by and we'll take a look. When clients ask us, we do have them out because we're, we're proud of our house. We wouldn't invite them out if they didn't. <laughs>